Assalamu alaikum friends this is Sami and you are watching Civil Engineers YouTube channel Dear friends in this video lecture today I am going to discuss about basic design of column but remember this is part 1 and I will do design of column from basic many student they have a problem that how we can design a column from basic so let's start so first of all if this video is helpful for you so must like this video and subscribe this channel for more updates civil engineering videos so first of all I will tell you that types of column so the first one is so types of column right RCC column so the first one is rectangular column ok and the second one is square column And the third one is circular column. And the fourth one is polygonal column. Remember one point that here types of column, rectangular column, square column, circular column and right so remember one point that note column is a compression member subject to Axial or unaxial load or moments. Okay, column is a compression member is a subject to axial or unaxial load or moments. Right, one thing other. Remember, column is rest on footing. Column is rest on footing. Without the footing, we don't design the column. So, what is column and what is footing so you can see here now this is called footing okay this is called footing these are main bars and distribution bars and footing right now I will draw a column and also its cross section right so here this is elevation this is elevation for this is elevation for column right these are called longitudinal bars this is called this bar longitudinal bar longitudinal bars ok or main bars longitudinal bars or main bar this is also ok this is also now this is called this this is called concrete cover concrete cover ok let's protect the longitudinal bars from rust ok so here this is cross section but I did not show here ties ok so again you can see that this is 
ties right these are called ties okay these are called ties okay ties and ties are used an rcc column to keep main reinforcement or longitudinal bar okay these are ties and ties use an rcc column to keep main reinforcement so these are main reinforcement now okay so this is elevation this is elevation now i will show it here plan so it will come like this okay these are main bars this one okay it come like this okay and these are hooks so this is plan remember <coughs> i have already discussed here that <coughs> column is a compression member subject to axial or unaxial load okay so ag axial and unaxial load so this is column right so when the load come on the center of the column this is center line for this column okay so when the load come on the center so this is called axial load and this is other column right when the load is not come on the center okay so without the center when the load is apply anywhere on the column so it is called unaxial so we design a column for axial and also for unaxial load or moments remember that use steel percentage in column from 0.8% to 0.8% to 6% okay percentage of steel in column is a cross sectional area of column how for example so this is called all the cross sectional area of column so we will use steel steel quantity in column in rcc column 0.8% to 6% as a cross sectional area of column this is cross sectional area of column we will use 0.8 to 6% okay but remember don't use steel less than 0.8% in column and also don't use more than 6% okay so you can say 2% take 2% or 3% okay so it's depend on you due to design structure okay so these are too much important now remember 
some other points use four numbers of steel in or use four number of steel in a rectangular or square column other use six numbers minimum okay use six number minimum longitudinal bars or main bars in circular column circular column how you can see it here this is circular column use in circular column six numbers of steel okay minimum less minimum six numbers of steel use and circular okay this is circular minimum six numbers and this is rectangular so use minimum four numbers of longitudinal or main bars okay so these are too much important which i've discussed the front of you so if you have any question about this video so you should comment i will try to reply your answer so thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye